the Grade 3 Buckhouse Chase is next up on. We've got a big field for this one. 16 of them over two and a quarter miles, including last year's winner. Coming back to try and repeat a victory. It's a two and a quarter mile Grade 3 then. At the top, Mercer and Ubis for Graham Clutterbuck has also got the ranting art. Cornetto, Pertigo, Darren Thompson, Fondmort, David Hooley, I am Maximus, Paul Rhodes, the long... Paul Joshua Sutherland, Lord Gale, Martin Leedham, One Lip, Darren Thompson, Weary Willie, Kevin Meanhan, Alien Invasion, Leon Van Rensburg. That's last year's winner coming back for another go. Arlington Idrak for Vinnie Gerard, Ashura Posh, David Robertson, Kafina De Niro, Paul Rose, Fabulous Prospect, David Hooley, Maycox Jody, David Robertson, and Time and Eternity, Leon Van Rensburg. So all called in then in the Irish rain. And away they go. They're going towards the first of the fences with last year's winner Alien Invasion the first to show I am Maximus pulling for its head and they've got 11 fences to take in this one Kafina De Niro is finding the early pace a bit hot and is about 3 or 4 inches detached as they almost complete their long run to the first and it's going to be Mirza and Nubis that takes them over in the lead in the end so Mirza and Nubis then has quickly gone 4 or 5 lengths clear of the long pause in second and right over on the far side of the track, the Ranting Art stable companion to the leader is in third. Then Time and Eternity is after that one, then one lip. But there's about ten of them right across the track as they pass the winning post then with a circuit to go. And Mirza and Nubis is clear by six or so. I'm sure Graham Clutterbuck will be hoping it cuts across to the fence in a minute. It doesn't look like it's going to. It gets over the second, clearing the lead. They're all safely over that one and now it's making a little bit of an effort to get to the fence and indeed it's done so so Mirza and Nubis then in the lead by about six or seven lengths to Lord Gale who's now moved through in a second then they're ranting out on the long pause with time and eternity as they get over the third mistake there by David Robertson's Azura Posh towards the back but this big field are being led a merry dance at the moment by Mirza and Nubis Gets into the fourth and gets over that one really well. Lord Gale's over it in second. The Ranting Art third, then Maycox Jody's after that one. The Long Pauses next, then Time and Eternity. And one lit bit of a gap then to the David Hooney pair, Fon Morton, Fabulous Prospect. They've got Alien Invasion last year's winner with them. There's a faller there at the back. Fabulous Prospect has gone. So Fabulous Prospect, the first one to depart the race then. And Mercer and Nubis continues to lead. The lead is probably just four then now. From Stable make the Ranting Art in second. Then Lord Gale, one lip, moving nicely around the outside. Time and Eternity likewise. Then after that one, uh, Corletto, Pertico and the Long Paws are trying to get into it as they come to the sixth. And the leader skips over that nicely, so did the rest of them. And it's still Mercer and Nubis. Inside the final mile now, with time and eternity over on the far side, come through into second. I am Maximus has come through from nowhere as well as they all get over that one. They all drop that nicely, and suddenly Mercer and Nubis has been overtaken by time and eternity right over on the far side. I am Maximus and Maycox Jody was oh, and he made a mistake there. The Leon Van Rensburg horse, time and eternity, his stable mate. Last year's winner, Alien Invasion, has now gone on. So it's Alien Invasion and I am Maximus, but they're wide on the track. Behind them, Corletto, Pertigo, the ranting out and one lip. They're all trying to get into it now. Alien Invasion's cut over to the inside, so too as I am Maximus. They're inside the final five furlongs, and Alien Invasion is in the lead. This is the third from home. Alien Invasion landed in front. Better jump by I am Maximus. Time and eternity wide on the track. Then Corletto, Pertico, and the ranting out. Maycox Jody's after that. Then one lip. They're racing down towards the final two fences then now. And this is the final ditch over the second last they go, and it's Alien Invasion in the lead. Stable mate, time and eternity. Weary Willie's come from absolutely nowhere. Weary Willie's suddenly gone through with an absolute burst, and it's Weary Willie who's hit the front. Weary Willie from Alien Invasion and Time and Eternity. Then Lord Gale and Fonmort, they're racing down towards the final fence, and Weary Willie. He's in the lead on the outside from Alien Invasion. What's Weary Willie got left after putting all that effort in to get through into the lead? Weary Willie comes through to the final fence. Alien Invasion on the near side. Alien Invasion jumps in well, gets away from it well. Stable mate Time and Eternity is second, then Fonmore. But it's Alien Invasion trying to win the race for the second year on the trot. And he's still in the lead by about a length. Fonmore is in second and he's going to be two years running Alien Invasion. He's going to take the silver book and race it up towards the run. It's going to be Alien Invasion that takes it. Fonmore is second, call that out. go third time and Eternity one lip and then a long pause Lord Gale ranting on all the way back to Kafina De Niro who was the back marker of the last one to finish and Alien Invasion wins for the second season on the trot 
with Fonmont second, Corletto Pertigo third. So only invasion it is then for Leon van Rensburg, the winner. Fonmont for David Hooley second, Corletto Pertigo for Darren Thompson third. Time and eternity for Leon van Rensburg was fourth, and one lip for Darren Thompson was fifth.